Nine News at six. It's been a roller coaster for Tina and Parrish Bryson, who have been searching for their son Michael for two years now. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jay Wan Jung. The first annual Michael Bryson 5K shuffle kicked off this morning at Harrisburg High School. And as KZI 9 News reporter Grace Smith shows us, there is no finish line in the search for Michael and other missing loved ones. Nice work, Ben 56. Coming in with a big grin. I just think it's wonderful that the community and everybody is coming out and supporting us. And um, we're overwhelmed every day. We are overwhelmed. The first annual Michael Bryson 5K shuffle is in the books. <laughs> Sawyer Griffin is from Medford and came to run the race with his grandfather. I've been training for this. His training certainly paid off as he took home the bronze. And there were a bunch of people, and then as I was running, everyone started to like, two guys went up front, and then I was the next, and then my grandpa was right behind me. 118 participants crossed the finish line in honor of Michael and others who have gone missing. Michael mysteriously disappeared in the early morning hours of August 5th, 2020, while partying with friends. He was last seen at Hobo Campground near Dorena. A few months later in December, some of his clothes were found, but Michael remains missing. We started um, the foundation, the Michael Bryson Foundation, after he went missing, and it's mainly to bring awareness to missing people and also for mental health and drug addiction. Um, this actually was spearheaded by our niece. It was her idea to put this on and um, it's turned out great. Many people tell me they wouldn't have missed this 5K for anything. This is an opportunity not only to raise awareness for Michael Bryson, but for all missing loved ones. My husband's a runner, so we thought this would be a good opportunity to show our support. Creswell residents Myron and Cindy Brown tell me they've been friends with the Brysons for quite some time. It's heart wrenching of what happened and we just wish for them the very best and they're wonderful people and we just wish that uh, things would go their way for a change and they would be able to find out about what happened. The couple tells me they're truly blown away by the support and love they continue to receive from the community and beyond. From family, community, friends and they've stood by our side and we couldn't have done it without them. This 5K is just another step forward in the race that has no finish line. Reporting in Harrisburg, Grace Smith, KEZI 9 News.